don't cram 20 people in Zoom. Fluorescent lighted office all day long. You know, you probably are going to work from home. Hello and welcome to No Office, a podcast about work, technology and life from a remote company perspective. My name is Stafos Sobolewski and as always, I'm joined by CEO of our No Office company, Nosby, Michael Slivinski. Hello, Michael. How are you today? Hey, man. What's up? Cool. I, I see you. I see you. You are not in your uh, main home office. <laughs> No, no, no. Today I am in my parents' place because uh, uh, we came to my, you know, to to my hometown for for Easter, and uh, we are still here. We are leaving on Sunday, and back home. So, um, and you know, I'm technically on vacation, so I actually shouldn't be working right now. But I told you that I I, I can. Uh, I mean, you know, recording you a podcast with you is, doesn't doesn't <laughs> feel like work. So I I can I can do some work uh, while I'm here, and. Um, Later in the show, I'll explain how I have my setup here ready in my parents' place, just in case I need to record something. So, so yeah, so I'm ready, and we can record uh, stuff. And you know, because uh, it's it's also a you know important time for us at Nosby, so uh, I thought it would be a great way to celebrate it. Uh, yes, we for the whole month, I think we were um, highlighting our Mighty Fly Day. Uh, policy in our company, and uh, one of the main things we do on Fridays is weekly review. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about this because we we haven't covered it yet in details. And uh, yeah, weekly, weekly review. In previous episode, we talked about writing stuff down. Yes. Remember? Yeah. And uh, I said that it's, yeah, it was the first habit of getting things done. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and um, yeah, now when you when you have a habit of writing things down, it is very good practice to review it regularly. Uh, that's why we have this week review. And I think it's the most important habit uh, for maintaining your system because otherwise everything can explode after time if you don't review stuff. Weekly review is... sucks. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> weekly review is so difficult to do i'm telling you it is so difficult for us as people as human beings to regularly every week take some time aside and do a proper review it's like ask anyone who's doing you know getting things done gtd who's read the book by david allen um how often do you i mean how regular do you do your weekly review do you do it every week really and people are like, yeah, maybe once a month or something, you know, like it's 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 so hard to do. I mean, and then th that was one of the reasons why we instituted a Mighty Fridays so that we have this space of Fridays that people have no excuse not to do the weekly review because it is really so hard. Like for us to think about it, you know, I have to like spend time with myself for like two hours reviewing my tasks without actually doing any tasks, without doing any work without writing anything um it's a waste of time hey rafa how about a coffee to, together ah that, that this yeah. is not a waste of time let's have a coffee <laughs> so like like we are strange you know creatures that for us it's so hard to do yes especially when uh when there are so many distractions and easy tasks to jump on uh, not only coffee but yes. in our no office environment uh, we don't work together in the same physical space. So oftentimes yeah. uh, some new tasks pop up uh, in incoming from someone and it's so easy to just jump jump on it and and, uh, and work on this uh, instead. So yeah, we have this policy for like six years now. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, and I was still struggling doing quick review regularly. I recently I figured out some tips and tricks that helped me to do it uh, yeah every every Friday I would say mm -hmm. uh, pretty consistently so I wanted to share, share it with you mm. yeah, so, yeah so 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 we will do that we will we will share with you uh, our tips and tricks how to 
force ourselves into doing the weekly review because it's for our own good and how to um, do it more consistently, uh, what we do during the weekly review, how we do it. If you want the details, also you can read them, uh, my chapter in the No Office book at nooffice.org slash review. Then you can read how uh, like the, the basic things of the weekly weekly review. Um, yeah, but today we're gonna you know dive deeper into this and explain even in more and more um, with more nuance, you know how we are trying to trick ourselves into really doing it because we know that when we do a proper a good weekly review on a Friday, then we show up at work on Monday with a plan that we don't show up. Uh, saying, ah, what should we be doing? Ah, maybe let's check social media. No, we have a plan for Monday. And with that, and then for the rest of the week. And this makes our week so much better, so much more productive. Yes, that is uh, that is true, exactly. And uh, for me, I, uh, the big change that I discovered on like scheduling our Mighty Fridays, or my mm -hmm. Mighty Friday, is mm -hmm. that... Uh, it's much more um, efficient or um, the success rate of doing weekly review for me is much higher if, if I do if I intend to do it after lunch. So uh -huh. I start my mighty fly day with learning something uh, mm -hmm. uh, with figuring something for like researching new tools or creating some automation or watching some conference etc. And only after lunch, uh, I jump on to weekly review, and it's easier because because after lunch the the traffic <laughs> in tasks in our team in Nosby is much lower, oh, yeah. uh, so there are, there are less uh, there's less distraction um, because like most of the team is already after their weekly review. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so that's the trick um, and. And yeah, you you know if you um, you really need to um, push on your brain this this different attitude because yeah. to trigger different decision making process, not to do stuff, but to complete, abandon, delegate, or less schedule a task. Stuff. Not, yeah. 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 So so I find it much easier to do it on Friday afternoon because. You know, it's Friday afternoon, uh, the weekend is starting, so you yes. want to cross everything before the weekend. So, yeah. so your brain is like, forced to do it, to not to uh, finish tasks, but to reschedule, complete, abandon, or delegate. Yeah. So, so I found it, uh, that it, it, it really helped me uh, with this. And really, I just... Uh, Today, I, I learned uh, from some TED talk um, about, um, I don't remember who was this, but about, uh, about the flow state. But it's yes. much easier to, uh, to start an unfinished big task mm -hmm. uh, than start a, a big task from scratch. Of course. So, so of it's course. even yeah. So with with this in mind, you can even if you have, for example, uh, think that you can finish your big task for a week in thirty minutes. On Friday, mm -hmm. just don't do it. <laughs> uh huh. Like leave it for Monday because then it's it's a ah, very okay. easy win for Monday to to start. All right. It's much easier to to go into the flow, finish this, and have the, this boost in the productivity. Okay, so your hack is to leave some unfinished stuff for Monday because then you will want to close it down on Monday and you will have your first wins and you will be more like, you know, your endorphins, everything will be firing up. So you will be uh, much more inclined into starting new things because you're on a roll, you're on a streak, everything is working out. Yes, exactly. exactly. And on Friday afternoon... Um... Actually, Apple, our favorite company, is helping us <laughs> because they are sending notifications from Apple TV app about the new episodes of the show on Fridays. <laughs> oh yes, that's true. That's true. So it motivates you to finish uh, finish your weekly review to to make to make tough decisions and yeah, to make quicker decisions about tasks. <laughs> yeah, that's so that's, that's my really trick. true. 
So um, I, I, the problem with our company, and that's true, that's, I, thanks for pointing it out, is that because we are using actually Mighty Fridays, and we're not only preaching Mighty Fridays, but, but we are actually um, <laughs> doing it, is that everyone on the team is doing weekly review on a Friday. <laughs> so uh, as you said, um, very often you think like you've done your weekly review and you've completed everything, but then there are new tasks popping up that, yeah. that, that require your attention because other people are doing their weekly review and are asking you follow-up questions or are, are mentioning you or whatever. So so it it, it 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 can be kind of incomplete when you start your Friday with a weekly review. You think you've done it by 12 and then by four, you see that there are new notifications, new uh, incoming messages or, uh, or activity uh, in Nosby. So that's kind of, you know, that's the thing that we haven't, you know, thought about when we instituted Mighty Fridays, that because everyone is doing weekly review, uh, you know, there is, it's not complete, complete, but that's fine. Like, it, it's also good. Like, it's, it's you know, again, this can be um, um, the completionist in us might not want to leave it incomplete until Monday, but listening to you, it's actually good. You leave it for Monday. So then on Monday, you have some easy wins. So, so you review some tasks, you reply to some comments. So again, you're starting to work um, on things that people have reviewed on Friday. Um, because, you know, for me, um, I have tried many, many um, uh, ways to doing the weekly review. Uh, but for me, the the easiest one on, on Friday is to um, is to go uh, at before nine. I'm I'm leaving my kids at school and I'm driving them to school. And then coming back from school, I'm not actually coming back home. I have my iPad with me, so I go to a, a very nice cafe, and I have my breakfast, my special breakfast, special treat. And while eating this breakfast, I uh, I have to finish my weekly review. So this way, uh, I do it in the very morning. And um, I cannot, you know, I mustn't leave the cafe until I have done the weekly review. So I'm trapped, <laughs> you know, um, and, and this this has always helped me, this kind of system. And uh, on the weeks where I haven't done that, uh, uh, I was struggling to do the weekly review. Um, so, of course, sometimes I don't do it like this. Sometimes I, I, I do them also in the afternoon on Friday, which is also good. But... I think my biggest success rate was when I was when I had this, you know, trigger. And I think, just, just like in your case, you have a trigger of, I eat lunch. After lunch, I do my weekly review. So the trigger is, you know, after lunch, this is the moment for weekly review. For me, the trigger is I've delivered my kids to school. Now it's time for my weekly review. Yeah, but uh, it's not only only that, no, not only lunch, but I have the similar uh, trigger like changing of context it it really mm -hmm. helps you to switch switch the brain into the different mode <laughs> not doing yes. completing a task but just uh, uh, just making decisions uh, what to do about this task and when to do it uh, yeah so i if i'm yeah ideally i would go to to the coffee place mm, to, mm -hmm. to complete my weekly review uh, and yeah, we can finally do it after the pandemic. Yes, <laughs> uh, exactly. but still with with, with, with some uh, uh, to be yeah, it's still with with some conscious decisions and ma masks etc. Uh, but it's much easier now. Um, yeah, but if I stay at home, I would take my MacBook onto my mm -hmm. labs and sit in the comfy armchair. And oh, yeah. do it there, not in front of my in front of my big screen, because I don't need that for weekly review. I just need to go through the, through uh, through some tasks in Nosby yeah, and make decisions about them. So that's very different context. And yeah, taking my MacBook into my labs it really helps me with with this. And uh, pro tip, um, really, uh, the new Nosby, if you're using the new Nosby, works uh, very well also on smartphones. So. Um, uh, several times I've I've uh, I've realized that all I uh, that I can do something even different. Like if I forget the iPad, for example, to take my kids to school, I can still do the very same thing: switch the context, go to the cafe, pull up my iPhone, and just do my weekly review on the iPhone, and it's fine. Like it's yeah. I just type a little bit slower, but I can dictate, I can type, uh, so it's a little bit slower, but not much. 
slower and uh, still the application is fast so it works very well very well uh, we have this you know in the task details we have the arrows up and down so i can quickly you know go through activity and so it's you know i realized that you know there is no excuse actually not to do the weekly review even if i forgot my ipad oh i cannot do it now no no <laughs> i have access to all of my nosby so all of my projects and tasks i can still do the weekly review with my iphone only so uh, i wanted to point it out that you know um we are very intelligent creatures, so we always find very good excuses not to do something. Uh, but in that in that <laughs> in that vein, uh, just having the iPhone with you is good enough to do your weekly review because you can go, you can do, or you should be able to do, you know, a, a proper review um, by just going through things on the iPhone. And if there is if there are additional steps, like you know, like going through your physical inbox in your home office or or things like that, well, you can do it when you come home. So it's it's not a big deal. So really, um, there is no excuse. Uh, yeah, and uh, as you as you spoke about uh, doing it in Nosby, uh, we will show uh, during our product block next next week how we actually perform weekly review inside our app, how our checklist looks like, how what tips and tricks, what features we use to, to facilitate to make, make this process faster and more effective. Mm -hmm. So make sure to check it out on nosbcom slash blog. Uh, it will be on Monday, uh, Monday, Monday, 5 p.m. Central, Central Europe time. So it's uh, 11 a.m. Eastern and 8 a.m. Pacific time and 4 yeah. p.m. London time for for the UK yeah. people. Um, so yeah, that will that will be uh, very fun. Uh, and we will also show some new features we shipped recently that, that actually helps with Week Review. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that, jo jo join us uh, there. My my favorite. So like, speaking of Nosby, my favorite feature for reminders is that there is there are, like a feature I actually <laughs> suggested is that um, um, because we have Mighty Fridays, we can remind on Friday. So for example, there is a task uh, which is not really a task for for like day to day work, but the task to review, to think about, to you know contemplate. I just put a remind on Friday, and then it doesn't matter which day it is. It just goes to Friday. But and and if it's if it's if it's on Thursday or Friday, the the, the option changes to remind next Friday. So it's it's really smart. <laughs> it's really good. So this way I can you know put tasks consciously for Friday so that I can, one, once I, I complete all my other things in the weekly review, I can get to these tasks, you know, like write, write a you know, comment here, you know, review this, see this, watch this, read, the, read this. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's also very useful. I, I use it uh, because I like to plan the things I, wa I want to do on, on Friday. Um, I, because we we designed this feature that during the normal days you would uh, have this shortcut to remind me on Friday, but on mm -hmm. Friday the shortcut is next Friday. Exactly. Yeah. So I, on Friday I'm also uh, going through my Mighty Friday project, uh, mm -hmm. and I have things I want to explore, some automation, some uh, articles to read, mm -hmm. etc. So I plan what 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 I'm gonna do on next Friday. Ah, yeah, that's very good. Yeah, I mean, and, so, and that's very smart what you just said, to have a dedicated project for your Mighty Friday ideas. Because as we said, Mighty Friday is about personal development. It's about weekly review and then personal development, or as in, in your case, personal development and then weekly review, whichever the order. Uh, but the idea is about personal development. So again, it's good to be conscious about it. It's to, it's to, be, to, be, uh, to, to plan, a plan and have ideas for this, like what you want to learn what you want to read, what you want to explore uh, next Friday or in Fridays to come. And it's always easier to have a set of options. Like instead of like, okay, now I have to come up with an idea for next Friday or today is Friday. Now I have to figure out what I'm going like, to actually learn today. Instead, you have a Mighty Friday project. So whenever you have an idea, how oh, this would be good to explore, this would be good to watch, this would be good to catch up with. So you put it in your Mighty Friday project and in that sense, uh, you always have options. And uh, I think it's brilliant. And I actually don't have a project like that. So I'm going to do it right after we record this episode because uh, yeah. it's a really great idea. 
yeah so that's that's the i will show my mighty friday product on on monday <laughs> product <block>. good <laughs> uh, so yeah make sure to check, check it out uh, yeah so weekly review is the only time when i have my uh, counters on incoming and activity at zero yeah because mm -hmm. like normally i try to finish the day with incoming zero but i don't touch like i don't touch much activity uh, mm -hmm. view i try to focus on my priority priorities which are my my goals for for the week and incoming which which are the tasks that a team needs uh, feedback from me or i just uh, put a reminder for for myself there um so there is that and i go through all activities so all the new um, new events in tasks in projects i follow uh, i just review them one once a week on friday and that's 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 really fine because what what i like about our app it's this the separation between stuff you really need to make decisions today mm -hmm. and the, the stuff that might need your feedback but it's not uh, not uh, not important to to do it right right away yeah so i can go through it and plan like giving feedback to it for the next week or work on something during next week i i'm right now for my for my personal blog i'm writing an article which i might later repost on our nosby blog about how i appreciate the activity view as the ceo so like why it's, yeah. it's this as a ceo this is so important to me and why i'm not i don't have to ask for status of things i i hate asking people for like updates i want to see the updates without asking them about them so um i'm gonna you know um write write about uh, about this um if i write it today then we, we will be able to link it in the show notes but i'm going to comment on it on the vlog anyway so um so tune in for the vlog uh, if you want to hear more about that because for somebody who's a manager who's you know who's the ceo who's a leader it's really uh, like this is a killer uh, the activity view is a killer feature this is just glorious yeah. um so um i just wanted to point out that um uh, about the weekly review that the thing is that um you know surprise surprise if you do it regularly it gets better and it gets done in less time so so like the first weekly review might take you like three or four hours and you will be like ah three four hours every week come on man but no because once you have cl things cleaned up um uh, in this you know first three four hours um uh, then next week's weekly review is going to be like you know two and a half hours three hours maybe and the next week's weekly review is going to be two hours and then you'll get to an hour long weekly review you know, like it's, it's, it's um, like the more you do, I mean, the more often you do it, the more regularly you do it, the better it gets and you get better at it. So, and there is like more less, you know, um, backlog to go through because, you know, you've already done the work. So that's why I really recommend not trying to do it once a month, <laughs> but really try to stick to the weekly um, uh, repetition, weekly you know, cadence yeah, of the week. Consist cons consistency is the king. <laughs> yes, every time. Consistency beats everything. And uh, just like, you know, we do with podcasting. Every two weeks, we do a podcast for you guys. But it's the same thing with this. Like, if you do it more often, you do it better. You uh, get better at it. And, uh, and also, you with every weekly review, you can refine your checklist. Like, what you have to really go through, what is not that important to go through, or what you can go through later like it, you know you like you can be tweaking the process as you do the process but it's good to start start somewhere have like a basic you know framework for your weekly review and then go from there and keep tweaking it to your liking yeah and um, it's also good to have this kind of minimal version of the checklist and some optional items because like if I have time, I just go through more products in Nosby. Yes. And if I don't don't have much time, I just go to my top top ten projects I have in my sidebar in favorites. Exactly. Exactly. And it's it's that, but also like other things. Like, you know, you might want to skip cleaning up downloads folder, for example, this week, but then next week clean it up 
really well so that you know you don't have a you know backlog of downloads there for example so um it, it's you know so let's let's take a break maybe uh, let's have a yeah. sponsor break about nosby and then we'll go through the you know basic version of the weekly review and then the, the the more thorough so we can give you like tips for 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 our checklist for weekly review okay yeah. okay now what is podcast is sponsored by nosby the fastest way to done task-based async communication app for personal family and business use let's hear what customers say about nosby We tried uh, different project management tools um, for the first couple of years when I was with uh, the organization I currently am, CCMA. And then we realized that we just need really one place where we can communicate, where we can share projects, where we can think in written form, where we can give each other feedback. So we, we tested a couple of different things and eventually we settled with Nosby Teams. And um, it's been really fun to see the software mature and just get better and better. The data security, I, I know the company is, is totally committed to improving the product. For us, it's simple. We have some members of our team who are very tech savvy and some who aren't as tech savvy. So to find one tool that actually is usable for all those is not easy. Um, we did dabble in a couple of, of, of competitors and they were just too much, mm -hmm. you know, too complicated, too many features. What our team needed was something simple, reliable, trustworthy, something that was fun and, and attractive and, and enjoyable to use. And so Nosby Teams is really fit for us. It's fit, it's met that sweet spot. It's reasonable. We're a nonprofit, and so the price is right. It's easy to add members. I just added somebody yesterday. It was no big deal. You know, I think I went to the five-person plan to six. It was not a big deal. You know, so that's nice because it's flexible for us. It just gives us a place to park everything, and um, and it works for us. So we don't want to be emailing within our team. We're not perfect at that, but we want to cut down on, on that. We want to cut down on interruptions during the day. And so I'll try anything that will help accomplish those two things. So for us, Nosby Teams really fits that, that need that we have as a small team. And we and we are back after the break. And actually, uh, speaking about Nosby, we have uh, now promo uh, going on. Yeah, yeah. You can get four months extra free if you if you um, get a yearly subscription. So uh, only for a limited time for the for the next you know a week. So um, so just you know do it now <laughs> at nosby.com/promo. You can learn all the details. But basically, like if you're a Nosby subscriber. And you, within this time frame right now, you buy a, a yearly subscription. Will add four months to uh, to your yearly subscription. So you you pay for twelve months with already with 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 a discount, and then four months extra. So really, this is a special moment. Um, we don't do these promos anymore that often, like very rarely. So the time is now. If you are thinking of extending us before. Um, you know, sixteen months. Uh, so you are ready for this year and next year. Like just. Do it now, like and you know, do your spring cleaning, do your you know, prep for 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 summer and for for the year to come. Uh, I think is the best moment to do it. So, get Nosby for a year, but it's, it applies to both Nosby Personal if you're still using Nosby Personal and the new Nosby, formerly known as Nosby Teams, uh, the same way. Uh, Nosby.com/promo. So just get there, yeah. and uh, and and you will learn all, all the details. Just get for a year and four months extra. This is really special. Yep. Okay. So let's go back to our um, topic. Uh, so you wanted to share some tips on weekly review checklist. Yes. So the basic, I'm, I'm going to give you the basic framework and from there we'll go and you will add your uh, tips, Rafa, and you know, we'll get from there. So uh, what I'm uh, in the chapter of my book uh, of no office uh, book, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm giving you five easy steps. So, First, clean up inboxes. So, incoming documents, incoming emails, like incoming stuff. Uh, you know, physical inbox, maybe next to your computer, um, your email inbox, like all the inboxes. And this is actually the, the longest part of the review to clean up the incoming stuff. And then, um, second, reconnect with your goals. So, just, you know, check out, like, 
again, your goals for next week and for next quarter, like the goals you've written down before. And your also your yearly resolution, like get, get back to your res resolution. So what was your yearly resolution? And get reconnect with your goals to make sure that you, you're, you know what you have to plan and you have to do. Because if you don't reconnect with your goals, you might plan things that are actually not aligned with your goals. And, um, or you will see that some goals are not aligned with you anymore. So you want to skip on those. Yeah, but, so, but that, might, that might be fine. Uh, because yeah. your goals may change and you may feel different about, about your goals you set uh, at the beginning of the quarter or at the beginning of the year. So don't, don't be afraid to, uh, to change that. But, uh, but yeah, it should be your conscious de decision uh, exactly, but but not uh, not just something that happened to you. Exactly, because if you are, I mean, you have cleaned up all your inboxes. That was the first step. Now, second step is to rec reconnect with your goals because you want to make sure what kind of decisions you want to make for next week. And then you know, um, three, read your past week's calendar and journal so that just check you know what you were up to again to see you know, how the week went, and then. Um, Four, check your upcoming week's calendar and, and, and tasks for next week. And then five, again, a big one, review your projects and tasks. So then go through like all this all the stuff that you have in, in your Nosby or other app that you, you use your tasks for. So this was my basic five-step process. Okay, so actually I think I'm going to still one uh, one tip from you because i have this on my checklist to review my mm, my tasks tasks that i with my weekly goal stack which are yeah. actually tasks uh, the same tasks that um, like tasks that are result of my go goals i set for the quarter yeah. yeah so and i have it at almost at the end of my checklist but maybe that's a good idea to have it at the beginning, so you can set set your mind into yeah into the into the proper state to thinking about th those goals while reviewing tasks. Exactly, this is key. I mean, and and it's not like you know spiritual mumbo jumbo. This is true. I mean, the moment you review your goals and you reconnect with your goals and with your ideas, make a conscious choice what you want to do with next quarter, next year, then. Your decision making is impacted by it. You are kind of, you know, it's like you know, you want. It's like when you drive a car. If you know where you where you're going, it's easier to steer in the right direction because you know where you're going, you know. And if you don't know where you're going, everyone will, will take you there. <laughs> so, <laughs> because you know, we the, the the problem. I mean, and and the good thing about weekly review is because otherwise we go with the flow. So very often, uh, you know, Rafa, you will just make a decision to do something next week because, for example, I told you so or because somebody else told you so. And when you review it, you're like, yeah, Michael told me, but this is actually not important to me right now. That This we can do it later or maybe somebody else can do it or maybe, you know, whatever. Or maybe I can re renegotiate it with Michael, but it's not aligned with what I want to do this this quarter and with, which, with the, you know, direction of our application, our company. So, you know, when I ask you for something, it might not be just the right thing to do for you next week, you know, but you might want to do it just out of sense of obligation or, you know, cam camaraderie, you know, just you want to help me out. But then you, for example, don't do something which was important to you and to the, to the company, you know, just because you went with the flow. And when you reconnect with your goals, it's easier to make a decision. Ah, Maybe this one, not for next week. Yeah, I, th I think in our company we have this unwritten rule actually that if we don't specify that we need something uh, for for a concrete due date or it's 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 urgent right now, then uh, every person that gets a task delegated to to them can plan it uh, whenever they want. Exactly, and 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 th that's the thing, you know. Um, like for, like, for example, this promo was different. Now, now we have the Nosby promo and we had to plan things for specific dates. Like we had to make sure that we get, you know, the, the payment system right, you know, all the discount codes, all that stuff ready for a specific date. Um, but normally, very often, uh, in you know, we trust each other that, you know, you will do the work. So I'm just doing, I mean, creating a task for you, Rafael, and then you will, you will either give me some feedback on that 
in the comment or you will do it, you know, but if I don't specify date, you do it when you decide to do it or when you're in the mood to do it. So um, that's fine, you know, and also like in the comments, we have a space to actually mm, uh, specify expectations, like say, you know, Michael, this is not really important. I mean, I this is important and I, I see that it's important to you, but, you know, I have other things to do. Can I do it like, you know, in two weeks? And then I say, yeah, no problem. Or no, please do it now. <laughs> you know, we yeah. can, you know, communicate. And then that's important in the comments. And it's also part of the weekly review that you, um, in the comments of tasks, you um, specify expectations and you like, kind of negotiate expectations with other people so that other people on your team can be aligned with you. And then they know, okay, this uh, will not be done next week. That's fine. Or this will be done next week. Great. Like, you know. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's really really helpful to to be on top of the things uh, at the end of the week, aligned with with your team, and then you can have a great weekend and really start Monday with 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 the boost productivity with, with all the priority list ready for you. So, um, one other tip that I I have I have for you uh, all is that. Um, so I have this journaling shortcut that I use for journaling. So uh, I, I, as you know, I am a, a proficient uh, journaler. I journal every day, uh, twice uh, in the morning and in the evening. Well, sometimes I fail, but usually I don't. So like I have my journal is pretty, pretty uh, consistent. And um, um, we'll link in the show notes to my journaling routine. So you can actually steal it from me and take it from me. Uh, take the, the whole shortcut if you use uh, Siri shortcuts. Uh, if you don't use Siri shortcuts, you can just review it online and maybe do something else for Android or, or, or Windows. Anyway, um, this Siri shortcut, uh, one of the things there is that whenever I start journaling, I have my goals for this quarter and this year written up. So they show as, 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 ah. as a pop-up. Pop so, so you this are way, connecting every, with your goals every day, actually. Every day. Yes, every day. Uh, so every day I'm, I'm, you know, sometimes I'm just, you know, okay and just skipping it. But very often I'm just like, especially in the morning, I'm just going through them again, like in my mind, you know, oh, okay, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to do this. So I recollect with my goals actually every day while, I mean, before I'm, 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 I'm journaling. So that's one tip that I'm doing. Second tip also in that uh, shortcut is that on Friday, I have extra checklist added to my, um, uh, to my uh, you know, daily entry. Uh, so this way I can follow this, follow, you know, follow a checklist when I do the weekly review. So this way uh, I can do things, you know, um, uh, you know, one by one and really complete my weekly review. And um, I can, I can, you know, uh, tell you that, for example, in, in my case, it's is, you know, I fill out a magic spreadsheet. So when I just, when I track all my, you know, uh, uh, hours of work, I um, clean up incoming. Uh, the second thing is clean up incoming zero and priority review in Nosby. Uh, then I have a different, topic so i decide on on core hours so on something i'm going to do next week on a big project for next week so what i'm going to you know be doing next week as a one big thing um you know we'll cover the core hours someone uh, i think we have covered core hours so yes we have we covered uh, your core hours concept and uh, yes yeah, uh, yeah. we will link in the show notes to the episode i don't remember the number right now Okay, so anyway, I, I, so I have, so just like you have the project for, you know, mighty, mighty Friday ideas, I have a project for core hour ideas, so big projects for, for, for the whole week. So I, I, I go to this project and choose core hours for, for, for next, um, for next week, and then, um, then I clean up activity in Nosby, and then I um, review my followed projects, so the, the most important ones, uh, I mean the favorite projects, sorry the most, most important ones, yep. then followed projects. And then based on activity, sometimes I review projects which uh, I don't follow, but I'm just curious what's, what's up there. So uh, so then I can just review these projects. And, um, and only then I go to clean up my email inbox. 
So my email inbox is, <laughs> comes last. Uh, first, I, I, I cater to my tasks and, in Nosby, and then only then I do my uh, email inbox uh, zero, and then I check out check check other social messages. So I go to LinkedIn, I go to other places. Uh, so if you have connect, uh, send me a message to listen to in LinkedIn, I'm sorry I haven't replied, but I'm going to reply um, uh, um, next Friday um, <laughs> at the latest. So so yeah so um, so. I replied to messages at the at the end because first I, I uh, cater to my tasks. Yeah, your team uh, come first, and then external world. <laughs> yeah, and again, this is a, a pro tip I, I have mentioned several times on this podcast. But if you want to get in touch with me, the best way to get in touch with me is to send an email to uh, to Nosby support. <laughs> because if you send an email to Nosby support and tell that you want this, you know, for Michael. The support will find a way through Nosby how to how to find me and how to get feedback from me. So uh, the best way to correspond with me via email is to do it via customer support on uh, in Nosby. <laughs> well, I, I I'm not sure if 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 we leave leave this uh, tip in audio version <laughs> <laughs> and, because that that um, that may result with more emails to customer support. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. Anything else on weekly review? Because I, think uh, I don't think cool. so. I mean, I think that we've covered it all. Uh, uh, just to wrap up, um, it's good to have it as a habit, to have a trigger for it. It's good to change a place where you do it, not by your regular desk where you do your regular work, but somewhere else, like you said, your armchair, maybe cafeteria, uh, you know, just changed. Uh, um, environment for this, make it special, make it different, and uh, and it's good to have a checklist, you know. And then, uh, if you go again through my uh, chapter at, at of nooffice.org/review, uh, also there um, you will find uh, links to to my. There is a checklist for that. There is a, a nosby.how template, so I, I link to all that stuff uh, in this in this chapter as well. Um, so if you go there, make sure to read the chapter and and then follow the links there. Um, and you know, please, for your sake, do it. Do it weekly. Do it regularly. Do it consistently. You will thank me later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are made to customer support. <laughs> okay. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's geek out a little bit. So, um, so you are in now in your um, second home office. Yes, so I'm I'm in my hometown, and uh, right now in my I'm actually in my in my my father's office. So this is my father's office. Um, my father works here. My father is the VP of finance uh, in our company, uh, and. Uh, yeah, this is my place where I work if I'm here, if I'm, you know, here. And for that, uh, I'm still using my iPad as my main device. But if I need a Mac, I'm using my mom's MacBook Air. It's an M1 <laughs> MacBook Air, which is fantastic. Um, you see, the camera is not maybe the best, but it works. Yeah, camera is <laughs> awful. Yeah, yes. So... um uh, but it's you know, but the computer is fantastic, so I'm using that. Uh, and I have a, sp I, ha I have this microphone always here, so I don't carry the microphone with me. Uh, I'm just using the microphone here when I need to record the podcast. This way, um, you know, I can do some recording if I need recording for for you know, Nasby purposes. You know, people want to want me to record something. I have a pretty good microphone here, so I can use it. So, so I'm you know, I have it all set up here, and uh, this way. I can be productive if I want to without carrying too much stuff. So I can just only travel here with my iPad, but still have, um, you know, um, um, additional additional gear here uh, ready for me to work. Yeah. Is there anything else you, you have um, from the hardware? You have doubled between your main home office and, and this office? Only uh, microphone? And, Ma uh, and MacBook the Mac Air, actually. <laughs> yeah, and my exactly the MacBook Air. Of, yeah, this is my mom's MacBook Air, but but I have an account in in you know my account uh, here, and um, yeah, I uh, I log into Nosby via the web actually here on the on on Chrome, and I use Streamyard on the web. So so yeah, basically I just have this special account for me. This way I don't you know uh, um, log into stuff on my mom's account. 
uh, you know, when she uses the magnet. Yeah, so, that's, um, that, that would that, that wouldn't be secure. <laughs> that wouldn't be secure, and also it's it's not good. Like the, 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 yeah. this is the cool thing about the the the, the Mac that you know having separate accounts is no big deal so i have can, can have my own account here and uh, have my own setup everything set up the way i want um so that's that's very easy um the rest of the stuff and i don't need because uh i i carry my backpack um uh, with me at all times and in my backpack i have all the chargers i have you know, like all the you know main cables that i need for for my ipad and for my iphone so with you know and i have my Air, airpods pro as well with me uh, so no i don't need anything else i have the... <laughs> have you used, uh, used for the strip uh, our company backpack or yes yes i have used the company backpack for the strip and it's glorious we we got a company backpack on our recent nosby reunion um uh, we we can link to yeah, a photo we, yeah. of some. We talked we talked about the, it on the last episode. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, I have the company backpack. Yes, and um, uh, we had a spare one. So the spare one goes to my daughter, and she's really happy about it. She 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 will use it as her main backpack uh, to uh, for like for school. So she's really proud of having daddy's. I mean, she's using daddy's merch all the time. She she uses the the Nosby hoodie, <laughs> uh, and and uh, she's proud of daddy's merch. So you that's mean good. she she uh, stole it for, from you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, she basically takes things from me. I mean, you know, I assume that having a daughter means that she will steal things from mom and not from me. But having a geeky dad um, inclines you to steal geeky stuff from your dad. So hoodies, uh, backpacks, cables, uh, chargers, all that stuff iPads. she steals from me. <laughs> iPads, yes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, she has my, you know, 11-inch iPad Pro, the one that I used before, and she loves it, you know, and she has the, um, and what she does in Procreate application, like how she draw, draw, draws things, it's amazing. I mean, what she does, it's, uh, yeah, the Apple Pencil and the, the and she has the, the paper-like, you know, um, cover, and she loves it because then she can really draw things uh, properly, so. Yeah, paper-like, yeah. big, uh, big thumbs up. <laughs> yes. Um, so, so, yeah, so, yeah. Um, and so my basically, t if you go to a place like I do, like I have my hometown where I go to like three times a year, like when there's no pandemic. Yeah. Okay. So I see we have some connection issue. Michael, are you there? No. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. So there's there's some glitch and your video was very blurry and yeah. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me share one tip I learned recently. Um, actually, it, it was a tip that shared Federico Vitici on Connected, but uh, yeah, and I really liked it because um, on iPhone there is this feature you can tap to wake uh, mm -hmm. uh, your iPhone. And actually the tip is to turn it off so, um, so you don't... Uh, uh, because with tap to wake, it's very easy to unconsciously just just tap with with you know uh, with compulsive habit to tap and see notifications and pick up the phone and and start playing with it uh, when 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 the when when the screen is uh, highlighted when you when you tap it yeah and if you turn it off then you have to raise to wake which is not so uh, so so easy to do as a compulsive habit. Uh, maybe it's easy, but not that easy as tap to wake <laughs> when when the phone is uh, is on the table in front of you. Uh, plus, it's uh, it really helps with accidental touches of the screen because uh, sometimes it happened to me that, for example, I I'm, I'm having a phone in the pocket and I want to put my hands in the pocket and then I touches the the phone and it gets unlocked with Apple Watch unlocked or it or it tries to unlock but failed because my face is not there and then next time I want to unlock it I need to put the alphanumeric wrong password because face ID is locked <laughs> okay uh, so yeah so I, I I recommend to 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 turn it off just for for your pro productivity and also for your convenience <laughs> okay cool so I think uh, we can wrap it up and 
Okay, so let's wrap it up. Uh, so remember, guys, that what day is tomorrow, Michael? Friday. Friday, exactly. And what do we do on Friday? Weekly review. <laughs> Weekly review and uh, mighty Friday. So learning something new, applying priorities for next week to have a great weekend. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to help support this podcast either by sharing it with a friend or leaving us a nice review in Apple Podcast. Uh, or by checking our Nosby app, especially now when we have a big promo for months for free when you buy a yearly subscription. So that's it for today. Say goodbye, Michael. Goodbye. And uh, you know, check out our promo because it's really special and time limited. And, uh, you know, uh, see you in two weeks. And please, please, for your sake, do your weekly review regularly. This episode has not been created in the office because in Nosby, there is no office. Your hosts were Michael Slewinski and Rafał Sobolewski. All the links and show notes you will find on nooffice.fm slash 40. The whole production process of this episode has been coordinated in a project in Nosby app. Control is good, but trust and mighty Fridays are so much better. Thank you and see you in two weeks. Remember to have a mighty Friday. Don't cram 20 people in Zoom. Fluorescent lighted office all day long. You know, you probably are going to work from home.